Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. We've been working really hard at floattheturn.com to create a bunch of really cool and useful tools that you can use to improve your poker game. All these are completely free. So the way you access them is you go to floattheturn.com and then click on the Tools tab. And here you can see what we have available. So we have the Pushfold app, Pushfold calculator, Pushfold quiz, and a few other things. So today I just want to talk about the Pushfold app. So you click on the Pushfold app. Alternatively, you can just go to floattheturn.com slash app, A-P-P. And here it is. So what this shows you is which hands you should go all in with when the action folds to you whenever you have a stack of a specific size. You can view the instructions right here by clicking the plus tab. And um, you can also download this for your iPhone or Android device by clicking these links. Again, you can access this page at floattheturn.com slash app. And then you can have the apps on your phone so you can use it at the poker table. So the way this works is it displays the number of big blinds you have and your position and the size of the ante. So those are the three things you need to know when determining when you should go all in or fold when you have a short stack, assuming there are no payout jumps in a tournament coming up immediately. If that's the case, these do not necessarily apply. They're a good starting point, but they don't necessarily apply. So let's assume we have 10 big blinds on the button. So you can go down here, click on your position. So we just go down to button. Number of big blinds, you go to 10. Adjustment, this means should we be pushing looser or tighter because you think your opponents are going to make a mistake. As you see, if you want to push a little bit tighter, you shove tighter. If you want to push a little bit looser, you push with more hands. Um, the number of seats at the table, let's just assume it's 10. And then the ante size. So the way you figure out the ante size is you take the size of the ante and divide it by the size of the big blind. So for example, if you're playing 200, 400 with a 50 ante, 50 divided by 400 is 12.5%. So this is going to be a fairly standard ante size. If you're playing 400, 800 with a 100 ante, etc. Um, we also have 10% antes. This is when you're playing something like 200, 500 with a 50 ante or 500, 1,000 with a 1,000 ante. And then we have no antes because I understand that a lot of games do have no antes. There are, of course, various other ante sizes. Some are between um, 10 and 12. Some are like 8% antes. Some are like 15% antes. And you can just adjust slightly based on that. You know, you have to use your logical deduction skills to figure that out. So anyway... The way this app works is you load up the situation. As you saw, it took three clicks. You know, if we were in the low jack seat instead, you just click on low jack seat, right? But anyway, let's just, let's start on the button. And the way this works is on your phone, you would just see this little window here, right? So it's just big enough to fit on the phone on, on a phone screen. It looks fantastic. And what you do is here we are. So before the hand would start, you would load up this and you would know, Okay, these are the hands that I push with. And if you're playing live poker, you can actually just sit this on the rail. If, you're if your casino doesn't let you put your phone on the rail, you can just look at this and memorize the few worst hands in this range. So you'd want to remember all king x suited, which kind of implies all ace x suited. King four off suit and better, which implies all ace x off suits. And then remember just, you know, all off suit nine x or better and all the reasonable suited cards. Make sure, you know, reasonable suited cards mean stuff like jack six. Okay, so then let's say someone goes, someone raises in front of us, so this chart goes out the window, and we move on to the next hand. So you just click Next, and now we have 10 big blinds in the cutoff. Here it is. Here's the chart for that. And, you know, you can click this with, you know, one one uh, click on your phone, and it, it's very, very easy to use. You can click Next, 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 and let's assume now we're under the gun plus three. We get King Jack offsuit, 10 big blinds, 12.5% antes, and we decide to go all in and everyone folds. Okay, so what we do is we now click steal. So what happens when you steal? Normally you steal the blinds and the antes. So that means that this should jump up by about two big blinds because we have one big blind from the big blind, half big blind from the small blind, and then, you know, roughly roughly half a big blind to one big blind from the antes. So in reality, you're probably going to go up to like 12.5 big blinds or so, but this is close enough. And also you are going to slowly be getting bled down by the ante. So it's not like you go from 12 big blinds to 12 big blinds to 12 big blinds. It's more like 12 big blinds to 11.9 to 11.8, etc. So this is just a rough estimation. If you see that your stack happens to get off of the stack size here, you can just click plus one big blind or minus one big blind down here. And it's, again, very, very quick and easy to do. All right, so let's assume we fold this hand. We fold this hand. Under the gun, we're going to fold. So what happens when you go under the gun? Or after you fold under the gun? Well, you're in the big blind. Uh, these charts do not apply in the big blind because 
if everyone folds to you, you win the pot, right? So the next position should be the small blind with 11 big blinds because we lost one big blind from being in the big blind. You know, sometimes you get a walk and you can add a big blind. Sometimes you play the pot and you, you win three big blinds or you lose three big blinds and you can adjust that very easily at the bottom. So now here we are with 11 big blinds and the small blind. Let's say they fold to us. We get 8-4 offsuit. We decide to just fold. We go to the next hand. We're on the button. And let's just assume we fold like 20 hands in a row, right? And as you can see, our stack is slowly getting bled down. And let's say now we're under the gun plus two. We get king six suited. We steal. We, we shove all in with king six suited from second position under the gun. Or sorry, under the gun plus two, which is actually third position. The way the positions work, by the way. We have under the gun. That's first to act. Under the gun plus one is second. Under the gun plus three is third to act. Under the gun plus three, three is fourth to act. Then we have the low jack, high jack, cut off, button, small blind. And um, as there are fewer people at the table, some of these seats will disappear. For example, say we're playing six-handed. Well, if you refresh the page, it'll disappear. <laughs> All right, so anyway. Let me just see this. Let's, let's make it six-handed and see what happens with the positions. Small blind, button, cut off, hijack, load. So notice there, it just skipped a bunch of positions. And that's because now we're playing only six-handed. So the app takes that into account. Um, but anyway... This is a very useful tool. Uh, it works for up to 20 big blinds, although I don't really suggest using it for 20 big blinds. I really suggest using it for about 13 big blinds and less because when you have 20 big blinds, often there's going to be a better play than just shoving all in because usually when you're shoving all in, you're winning some small fraction of a big blind on average. And that's fantastic if you have a very short stack. Like if you win half a big blind and you only have a six big blind stack, if you can do that by shoving, that's a huge increase to your, to your stack. Half a big blind divided by six big blinds is like a, I don't know, 8% increase or something like that. Whereas half a big blind into a 20 big blind stack is only a 5% increase. So you're, you have a bigger potential reward whenever you have a short stack. You're just, you're just winning more money in proportion to your stack when you have a short stack. So these strategies work really well with a 13 big blind stack. I highly suggest you use it. Again, you can download this app completely for free at floatthetern.com slash app. You can also just search the Float the Turn Push Fold app in your app store on your phone. So check it out. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you another one of the tools, the Push Fold Quiz, which is another great way to teach yourself to get better at poker. So check out the next video where I'll be discussing that.